Goal to bring Amtrak to Madison. A city official tells us momentum is building. Yeah, John, six sites around the city have a shot at becoming Madison's pick for a potential new train station. NBC 15's Michelle Beck has been following this project. Michelle, now the community can get involved, right? Yeah, the city kicks off its passenger rail station study early next month. And this does not mean Amtrak is guaranteed to come to Madison, but it could be a step towards it. X marks a spot where City of Madison officials imagine a future Amtrak station. This is a way for us to, to demonstrate to the federal government that we are serious about wanting to bring rail here ourselves. From UW campus to the airport, there are in fact six locations transportation planner Philip Gritzmacher says are up for consideration. Public input is welcome. This step following recommendations from Amtrak to extend a route and connect Madison with cities like Chicago and Milwaukee. Both Amtrak and uh, Federal Rail Administration have identified Madison as a, as a place that's important for passenger rail. Federal officials have yet to say whether Amtrak will stop in the state capitol. The U.S. Department of Transportation would give the final say on uh, the funding for the track improvements and the different things that we needed to, to actually get the, the rail to come here. But the federal dollars are out there. City staff point out the bipartisan infrastructure law increased passenger rail funding over 500 percent. We're seeing that there's an opportunity right now and we're, we're certainly trying to take advantage of that while we while we have it. Gritzmacher hopes to have a potential new train station identified by next May. As for the steps after that, he didn't share any details on the timeline. The Madison mayor has also included the Amtrak project in next year's capital budget. According to the mayor's office, once a station site is chosen, $350,000 will be used to create concept drawings and identify any necessary improvements. Live in the studio, Michelle Beck, NBC 15 News.